From Washington, this is VOA News. South Korea's military says North Korea has test launched several land to ship missiles. Seoul's Joint Chiefs of Staff said several projectiles were fired early Thursday from the north's eastern coast town of Wosan. This would be the fourth North Korean missile test in a month, coming after the UN Security Council imposed more sanctions on the north last week. The three most recent previous tests were of ballistic missiles. North Korea appears to be determined to develop a missile capable of carrying nuclear weapons and able to reach the American mainland. Separately, South Korea has said it will suspend any further development of a controversial U.S. missile defense system until an environmental impact assessment ordered by new President Moon Jae-in is finished. Last year, then-President Park Moon-hae agreed to deploy the powerful missile intercept system to guard against threats from nuclear-armed North Korea. Near simultaneous terror attacks on Iran's parliament and the tomb of former leader Ayatollah Rohola Khomeini could set off a new round of hostilities in an already tense Middle East. At least 12 people were killed and 42 wounded in Wednesday's brazen strikes by machine-gun-wielding assailants and two suicide bombers. The attack was claimed almost immediately by ISIS. In a new twist, the terror group's Amok News Agency also quickly distributed a 24-second-long video of the attack showing a bloody, lifeless body inside the parliament complex. The group threatened it would strike again. You're listening to news from The Voice of America in Washington. Two top American intelligence officials told members of the Senate Intelligence Committee Wednesday they did not feel inappropriately pressured by President Trump to publicly disavow possible Russian collusion with Trump aides in last year's election. However, that is as far as they would go. The Director of National Intelligence, Dan Coats, and National Security Agency Director Michael Rogers told the committee they would not discuss details of their White House meetings with Trump in recent months. They refused to respond to a news report that Trump asked them to publicly state there was no evidence his aides had colluded with Russian officials. Coates said it would be inappropriate to publicly discuss his meetings with Trump. I don't think this is the appropriate venue to do this in, given that this is an open hearing and a lot of confidential information um, relative to intelligence or other matters. Uh, I, I just don't feel it's appropriate I, for me to do that in this situation. Rogers also denied feeling any pressure from the president to publicly downplay any Trump campaign connection to Russian officials. Coates and Rogers' testimony comes as a new Washington Post ABC News poll said 56 percent of American adults think Trump is interfering with several Russia investigations. The same survey also said only about one in five people trust what Trump says about Russia's role in the campaign. Suspected Boko Haram militants have attacked Maiduguri in northeast Nigeria, triggering loud bangs and explosions and causing civilians to flee. Heavy gunfire was reported Wednesday in the Jadari Polo neighborhood of the Borno state capital. But a spokesman for the Nigerian army said the attackers, quote, have been neutralized, situation cool and calm. Drug deaths in the U.S. rose at the steepest rate ever to the highest level in recorded history in 2016, claiming more than 600 or 60,000 lives, that is. Early data suggests that deaths from opioids and other drugs will continue to increase in 2017. Drug overdose is now the leading cause of death for Americans under the age of 50. More than 2 million Americans have some sort of physical dependence on opioids. The extremely rapid rise in opioid problems is not unique to the United States. 
This week, the European Monitoring Center for Drugs and Drug Addiction in Lisbon reported that overdose deaths throughout the continent rose 6% last year. You can find more on these and other stories anytime around the world and around the clock at voanews.com. That's the latest world news from VOA.